We are all looking for answers, and as we seek to understand more about our universe and our existence, it is the latest scientific tools that allow us to see what was once invisible to previous generations. In the early 1600s, it was Galileo that provided us the tools to see new worlds. Later that century, Newton refined his tools and provided evidence that redefined our understanding of the physical universe. Michael Faraday's discoveries made it possible for future scientists to harness the power of electricity. Dmitry Mendeleev created the foundation of the periodic table of elements, which is the backbone of modern chemistry. Then, in the early 1900s, J.J. Thompson's experiments successfully separated ions of different mass, leading his student Francis W. Astin to build the first mass spectrometer in 1919. Mass spectrometers allow the accurate determination of the molecular weight of atoms or molecules. Specific weights correspond to specific atoms or molecules, so this information can then be used to determine the identity of the components of a sample. In the simplest terms, SciX mass spec systems provide the answers to the following questions. What is in my sample, and how much of it is there? These samples can be food, water, plants, synthetic chemicals, biological tissues and biological fluids such as blood, plasma, serum, urine, and saliva. In the Florida Everglades, the use of SciX mass specs has shown environmental scientists that the biggest threat to its ecology is not what you can see, but what you can't see unless you have a high-performance mass spectrometer. The selectivity, combined with its sensitivity, make SciX mass spec systems better than traditional UV or GC methods. This same technology allows novice users in the food and agriculture industry to easily report the levels of contaminants or pesticides in food and beverages. Mass spec is quickly being adopted in the fields of clinical research and forensics. It is the increased speed, accuracy, and selectivity that reduces false positive results and makes mass spec a more desirable choice than traditional methods such as immunoassays. Due to the complex nature of most samples, High Performance Liquid Chromatography, or HPLC, is usually coupled with mass spectrometry to provide physical separation of the components prior to entering the mass spec. Together, they are abbreviated LCMS. Although the result of an experiment will give you the mass of a molecule, the mass spec is actually measuring the mass to charge ratio, or M over Z. A mass spectrometer is made of the following basic components the ion source, mass analyzer, detector, and a computer workstation. In the ion source, the sample is converted into charged particles called ions in the gas phase. The most common example is electrospray ionization. From there, the ions enter the mass analyzer. Mass analyzers can filter, select, fragment, and most importantly measure ions of different m over z. There are different types of analyzers, but they typically use electric or magnetic fields to separate and focus ions of different m over z. A popular example is the triple quadrupole that uses alternating RF and DC voltages to separate ions. Once separated, the ions hit the detector. The detector will amplify the signal and send it to the workstation for converting the information to a mass spectrum. Application-specific software can be run simultaneously so that the data gets reported out to a simplified view that novice users can understand. To learn more details about these fascinating technologies, log into the SciXNow Learning Hub at training.scix.com and take one of our highly rated self-paced e-learning courses. They are free and registration is immediate. As SciX continues to advance LCMS technology, it touches more and more lives around the world by providing answers for science and ultimately knowledge for life.